someone said for you to do something you have never done before, you must become someone you have never been before. That's what we're talking about. And how to become someone you have never been before is what we're describing. It's in your mind. It's in your imagination because that is the place where you overcome all your limitations. That is the place where you can choose to make the rich man or rich woman your friend. That is where you can visit them at home. That's where you change your car. It's there in the imagination. But more than just thinking, we said you've got to believe. You've got to accept as your reality the fact that you have money, the fact that you're wealthy. Wow. Now, obviously, you and I have a lot of battles to fight on that score. <laughs> Why? Because your financial reality will try to stamp itself on your mind all the time. All the time. <laughs> How do you hold the thought in your mind, I am wealthy when there is no money, there is little or no money in your account? How do you hold that thought? How do you hold that thought when maybe you go out, you meet people and they are better dressed than you are? Maybe you attend an event and, <laughs> I mean, people come with exotic, exotic cars. You don't go there with any exotic car. And, and, you know, you tend to feel less. You tend to have a lower self-esteem. That is where the fight is. It's the inside that controls the outside. We should not allow the outside to control the inside. The outside can program the inside that's what we need to watch out for that's where the big risk is that we can so adapt to the outside that we absorb it inside and we don't realize it realize it just creates the dynamics for us just creates the dynamics of poverty just perpetuates what has been there that is undesirable okay to have money flow towards you, you need to decide that you are prosperous. So I'm talking about the decision. There's power in decision making. You've got to make a choice. Bring it down to this level. Being rich is a choice. Being poor is a choice. I know that there are people around the world that suffer injustices and poverty for them is not a choice. I'm aware of that. There are people that have been deprived right now of their freedom around the world. But for most parts of the world, it's a choice. We still have the power to make the choice. Somebody says, but, but the point is, I don't have a qualification. I don't have the social pedigree. I don't, excuse me. Don't focus on what you don't have. You have your imagination, use it. Decide, make up your mind. There's power in decision making. <laughs> make up your mind that you are getting prosperous. It's amazing. So, so somebody says, but that's the challenge. I just can't figure out how. How will come to you? Define what first. How will come to you? That's the way it works. Don't bother about the how. The how will come to you by inspiration. The how will come to you maybe through a book. The how will come to you maybe through a mentor. The words, you cannot shock that responsibility. So, we are assuming that you believe in abundance mentality. Let it work. Put it to work. Believe that you are prosperous. Believe that you are wealthy. You sell different things in different ways. Okay? So to a military officer, you know how to approach it. <laughs> If it's a child that is buying, you know how to approach it. If it's an adult, you know how to approach it. If you're selling to a man, you know what to emphasize. 
If you're selling to a woman, you know what to emphasize. But the important thing is, you've got to be selling. You've got to be selling something. And with time, you hone your skills. Because selling is a skill. Selling is a skill, and I hope to see a whole lot more of it in the environment. And that is if you have something that has value to add to other people's lives. You've got to be selling something. I, I can't find a way around it when it comes to the principles that govern money. There is no shortcut here. Money is a means of exchange of value. Somebody says, oh, what if maybe something negative happened, maybe I lost a parent or something, um, and I have this huge setback in my life. The only way to right the wrongs in your life, to put yourself back on track, is for you to align back with principles. So I'm saying here today, if you've never sold anything before, it's time for you to sell now. It's time for you to sell now, okay? It's time for you to sell now. It may be a product, it may be a service, but it's time for you to sell now. Okay. So it's food that I want to offer to people in my city. Why should they come to buy the food? Ah, that's important. Why should they leave other restaurants to come buy my own food. We've got to do our work with excellence. There is nothing you do that you don't require skills. I mean, career-wise, skills. If it's selling food, develop the capacity to cook food and to package it and to present it. So, you need a skill. That's what I'm saying uh, here. The long and short of it is you need a skill. You've decided. You believe that you are rich. You've decided that you're prospering. Look at the amount of money that you're expecting to earn, what you believe to earn. And look around to see if there are people that earn that amount of money yet. What you will find out is the people that have achieved their goals are in the minority and people stay a long way off and sometimes even criticize them. I think it's foolishness. We need to walk up to them and ask them exactly how they did it. We will always found, find out they were selling something.